Yo, what's good guys? It's Riley and welcome back to another video on my Road to Dark Matter series on Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And today I got the KSP 45 video for you guys. Just got this thing gold a couple of minutes ago. I've been grinding hard all day. Like I got off work at two and I just finished this gun up now. I've been on for like eight hours. Yeah, we were just absolutely shredding with this thing. I got a bunch of dope clips as well as a crazy 91 kill gameplay today I dropped. Absolutely insane. So make sure you stick around to see that gameplay yeah guys this is my second last smg until i have diamond smgs which is absolutely nuts i'm moving on to the tack rifles next because i want to use the m16 and the aug before they get nerfed because if you guys are playing cold war you know how overpowered those two guns are man they're absolutely crazy so i want to use those and be able to use them while they're still broken and bring out some crazy clips and gameplays for you guys so that's what i'm going to be hopping into next after i finish the bullfrog and complete diamond i'm going to cut this intro off here i'm going to keep it short Enjoy the clips, guys. I'll talk to you at the class setup portion of the video. Quad feed. Let's go. Oh my god. Yes. The Riley's DM. Suck my oh. oh my god. What the fuck? Oh, they're in the house. You're so lucky. Hey yo, you all pushed. Alright guys, here we are over at the class setup portion of the video. This SMG is not as good as the other SMGs in this game, but if you are running it, I would recommend running these attachments. They're pretty good and they make this gun pretty enjoyable to use. And yeah, let's hop right into it. So for our muzzle, we're going to want to rock the SOCOM Eliminator. This gives us plus 17 vertical recoil control, as well as 85% muzzle flash concealment. So when you're ADSing and you're shooting, you don't see all the shots and the bullets and the things obstructing your view essentially while you're playing so it's really nice to have this attachment it makes things a lot more cleaner for the barrel you're going to want to rock the 10.5 inch task force this gives us everything talking about damage it gives us a damage boost damage range bullet velocity all that stuff so this will give it a lot of firepower and make you finish kills a lot quicker for the under barrel you're going to want the field agent foregrip this gives us horizontal and vertical recoil control for the magazine, I like to use the 42 round speed mag. I was using the 48 round fast mag, but you lose 5% ADS time and for only six more bullets, I don't really think it's worth it. So I was just sticking with the 42 round speed mag. And lastly for the handle, I rock the airborne elastic wrap. It's one of my favorite attachments in the game, like I say in every video, but flinch resistance, ADS time, and it allows you to drop shot, which is nice for that odd time. You do want to drop shot, so I would rock this handle. So that's all you're going to be hearing from me for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy the game.
gameplay like i said earlier it's a 91 kill gameplay on nuketown using the ksp like the video if you enjoyed it at any point in time guys it's greatly appreciated and it helps the video out so much and also guys we're on the road to 1k subs still it's going crazy so far we're getting like a sub or more a day and i just want to say thank you guys so much so let's get to 1k like the video comment let me know what you think of the video and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video the bullfrog my last smg until diamond smgs guys take care and enjoy the gameplay Oh my god, dude, there is no way. No. Ninety one and twenty seven, bro. Holy shit. We get fucked. Oh, this is the kill chain. Wait, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> 